Okay, y'all, the second recipe we're going to do in here in my little camper for uh, a quick something else to add to your Thanksgiving table is this key lime fudge. I've made it for you before, but I wanted to show you again how easy it is because it's always a hit. I'm going to tell you, this is a hit. You don't ever have to worry about people not liking this one. Okay, it's the key lime fudge. This is how easy it is, right? First things first, I have in my measuring cup here five ounces of evaporated milk, y'all. Evaporated, okay? I have five ounces of evaporated milk in there. Okay, that's the first thing I need. Second thing I want to need is I have one and two-thirds cups of granulated sugar. One and two-thirds cups, okay? The last thing I need right now is a half a teaspoon of regular salt, okay? We're going to put us a half a teaspoon in there. And make sure I get it there. That ought to be good enough. It ain't as easy in this camper, y'all, but it's fun. All right. What we do now is we're going to get this stirring. You stay on it, stirring it, okay? And bring it up to a boil till it starts boiling. And then we're going to turn our fire down real low and let it just sit there and bubble. And you're going to stir it. Keep stirring it. And you're going to do that for five to six minutes, okay? That's all we got to do to this. So let's get this going. We're going to bring it to a boil. Keep stirring it, okay? Once I get it to a boil, I'm going to turn my fire down low and just let it sit there and bubble and cook um, while I'm stirring it for five to six minutes right in there, okay? So let's do that. Bring it to a boil. This is what I'm telling you. Bring it to a boil. Turn your fire down. Keep stirring and just stand there and stir it and baby it for about five to six minutes. Just want you to see what it's looking like, see? See how it looks while I'm stirring it? So that's what I'm doing, stirring it while it's doing that and my fire's on low. All right, so I've been letting this cook and stirring it, y'all, for, actually, I've done it for about uh, seven and a half minutes in here. It's different on my stove at home. But what it is is you want this stuff to get almost like candy-fied, right? And that's where you can do the little soft ball test with some water. You can do that. Um, oh, I got that opened up. My bad. Um, you can do that with a, some water in a cup. But I'll show y'all that uh, on it another time. But like I say, let it cook, you know, gently or whatever and get good and sticky, candied-like. You know, like almost syrupy looking, okay? So now we've got it to the stage we want it. What we're fixing to add now is we need to add 12 of these big marshmallows. 12 of them. Okay? Just drop them in there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. There's my twelve marshmallows. Let me turn my fire off. And I need two cups of white chocolate chips. Two cups, okay, of the white chocolate chips like you get for your cookies. And then the last thing we're going to add, y'all, is I have in this bowl two tablespoons of lime juice floating around in there and a quarter of a cup of lime zest. All right? Time to stir all that down in there together. And that's what goes in it, okay? That's it. We're going to stir this up. Just stir it until your chocolate chips melt and your marshmallows melt and it's all creamy. And we're going to pour it up in our pan. It's so easy, y'all, and so delicious. Yes. And you can add a little drops of food coloring, green food coloring, if you want to, to make it even prettier, right? But I don't have that. Ooh, and if it sticks to your finger, it is very hot. Get it stirred up here. Get my marshmallows melted. Alright, I got it all stirred up and mixed up in there. And I have 
I've got it good and creamy, and I have an eight by eight, not a nine by nine, y'all. If you use a nine by nine, it makes it too thin. So an eight by eight pan with foil in it and buttered, okay? Got that buttered, and now I'm just gonna take it, if I can get hold of it, and get it in there quickly. Get it all in there. We're gonna get it spread out nice. I had to bring my old pudding pot with me, y'all. I ain't had no good pudding pot in the camper. All this stuff smells so good. I'll be licking the pot after a while when it cools off. Okay. I've got it in there now. Get it? We're going to get it spread out. And that's all you do. That's it, y'all. There's your key lime fudge. It's delicious. It's easy to make. If you make it one time, you'll see. It's a little bit scary making that first part of it. Like I say, I cooked that for about seven and a half minutes on this stove. But there it is. It's in there now. We're going to let it set. And then we'll cut it in the squares. So... There's the key lime fudge. I hope everybody's doing good and uh, working on all your dishes and stuff. And I'll do one more uh, tomorrow and on uh, Thanksgiving morning. The, I'm going to do a shrimp salad thing. So, anyway, I love you guys. Y'all don't work too hard today. I know that's, you know, saying that in vain. But anyway, it's all worth it, isn't it? It's all with love. I'll see you guys tomorrow and we will uh, finish up. I'll show you the finished product of the fudge and the uh, chocolate peanut clusters I did earlier and the shrimp salad. All righty. And there is the key lime fudge cut in the little squares, y'all. It's delicious. So limey, right? <laughs> it's definitely, I can smell the lime in it when I was cutting them, but I, I chilled them. Just made sure they were chilled good, and once you do, they just set up great. So, look at that. What a nice little platter. And look, you can see the little pieces of lime zest all in them. Anyway, however you might like to put them on a platter, that kind of thing. But, anyway, last-minute candies and little ideas. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.